What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to use Permission X to, for a bucket server. Um, I know I was on Reddit and this is the reason I'm making this to be honest with you is um, someone asked to do a whole bunch of, um, they asked someone to set it up using uh, B permissions which I don't use B permissions, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it without it. Um, is this it? Yeah. All right. So here's all the different uh, plugins he asked me to put on for him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um show you what I have done right now. Alright, so here's all the plugins I have. They'll be listed in the description below. And, um, yeah. Um, first off, what I started off by doing was getting permissions. Oh, I can't open the jar. That was stupid. Um, open the permissions. And the first thing you want to do, um, I'll show you how to add permissions for things. Alright, so when you first start it out, you'll just see, like, it'll say default right here, and then it'll say default true, and then you'll have to add all these. And the main thing that a lot of people get confused on is you cannot use tab. You have to use spaces. Like, it's like, uh, one, two, three, four spaces, and then for the, uh, words, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's that's going to be the same way the whole way along here but if you use tab it'll break the it'll break the plugin and you won't be able to use it so what I have here I ha these are called permission nodes and if you go on bucket which you should be going on bucket to get all of these first I'll, I'll do uh, um, what were some of them that he asked to use I guess I'll do mob disguise <coughs> Or essential. I'll do essentials. All right. Um, okay. So what I have here, you just you, what you want to do is just kind of look around and you can say permissions. So you click on permissions. What you want to do is, all right. All these here are the the permissions to be able to use things. So f to be able to use the command AFK, you would go into this place go into your permissions and then you would say so if you want a member to use AFK you type in you type eight spaces in which is right here and then you would do a little dash and then exactly what this says right here so it says essentials AFK so what I did I was I just um, pretty much copied that over you could just type it in and then the cool thing with some of the stuff you can do alright so here's signs um, as you can see here I have signs and what that means is um, I have essential signs create so they can create any of these right here any of these signs right here with just that one command right here because with the asterisk that means anything with create and then anything after it they can use like what the asterisk means is they can use create balance create spy create disposal and all of that all of these right here so that's that's really nice and then so what I that saved me from having to put every single one of these permission nodes right 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 down through here and now that, that's nice so um then you can see some more of those right there so what that means for the owner which is me i have permissions right here and i just have this asterisk within um uh um, the quotations or whatever the one's called so that means i have access to every single command that the server puts out without having to go through and give myself permission nodes now the next thing is negation commands or negated commands. That means commands that you don't have access to for people who have access to all of them. And I'll explain that. So you see how for the admins right here, they have 
this little asterisk, which means they have access to every command. So what I did, um, especially for some of the admins so I'm not have on the server. Um, um, hold on. All right. So yeah. So to keep them from using some commands, I just took. You just do the same eight spaces, put a dash, another space, and then instead of just putting the command, you put another one of these dashes, which negates it, so they're not able to use this command here, any of these commands. So they can't turn on God mode, they can't turn on TP, all, blah, blah, blah. All right, and another thing, cool thing about this, uh, about this uh, plugin is that you can actually, like, Oh, okay, I'll show you an example here. Babalu is not allowed to uh, use God mode, but Durandal is, even though they're both admins, which you can see right here and right here. They're both admins, and if you scroll back up, it says they don't have the access to the God command. But by doing this right here, I gave him, just him, access to God command. Um, and same with here. I don't have TB toggle up here, which doesn't allow people to teleport to them. So I can turn it off just for one person. And this will also be in the description below. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think that should be good enough to explain. Um, I pretty much had to learn all of this myself because I none of the videos really explained very well what I was looking for but after reading a bit on on like the plugins and stuff and looking at config files other people did that really helped me out with everything so yeah I hope this video helped you out and uh, I do have a server up pretty much all the time so if any of you guys are looking wanting to join a server I'm going to go ahead and uh, sh show you guys actually what it looks like. We've had the server up since about Christmas, so it's almost been about two months. And we have a group of about five or six people that always get on, which is pretty cool considering that it's only been up for two months and I'm not a big YouTube star and not a lot of people know about me. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so you would start out here, and then you just go through here, there's all the rules and stuff. And our server's called the cat band server. So, uh, you can see the cat is looking very, very nice. A little background music on here. Alright, anyway. So yeah, we have about five different worlds. One being the creative, one being SMP, and also the nether. And then we have I, my my our old server on here, and also my friends' single player world. So I'll give you guys a tour around this real quick, just to show you around, show everyone. All right. So we have we had this built by one of the players on the server all by hand. And we have a couple few plugins. Uh, one being the shop, the shop plugin, as you can see right here, right here. That some of them, they're pretty cool. We, we're working on the economy right now. That's the next big thing that we're doing. But yeah, we have we have a few houses every everywhere. I think there's one over here. Yeah, right there. Um. Someone's building a castle, which I'll probably put on YouTube to see that being blown up. And we, we usually have a lot of fun with, like, we're all friends on this server. We have a good time. And, uh, yeah. And then also another cool thing is we do... We try to do either an adventure map or like a scavenger hunt like someone made that's on the server. Um, uh, someone actually built a spleef arena with one of the plugins we have. It's called Block Door. 
you pretty much made a resetting, like a self re not a self resetting, you have to hit a button, but it resets itself, which is really cool. So you, like here, I just hit this button. And yeah, now this, all the snow for the Spleef Arena, and what I can do is, I don't know. That's weird. Show. Well, regardless, what you just do is, most of you probably know what Spleef is. You just run around and try to knock the other person down. Yeah, there we go. So you just do that, and then after you kill the other person, all you have to do is come over here, or whoever's watching, you just hit the button. Everything will disappear, kill all the players, and then they'll respawn back in their sections. And then you hit that again, and then the snow pops back up. And then you can completely fresh and everything. Another thing is, me and my, uh, we were working on this for a while. It's, uh, oh, it's not reset. It's a self-building maze, which I thought was really cool when I first, my friend first told me about it. Which I need to get inside real quick. Let's get, stay away from that. So I can show you. Alright, this is probably the last thing I show you guys. So the point of it is you, we all start in these little cells, and then there's one person on the outside that uh okay, that's annoying. There's one person on the outside that is um the the starter I guess, I'm not really sure. So then what they do is hit the button, these open up, and also it makes this turn on. So this builds the maze right in front of you. So what you do, you can just run through the maze. I actually don't know how to beat this. But yeah, then it creates a maze. So I'll probably link in the description to another video and the Facebook page for this to uh, show you guys how to set it up because I am on a college network. And that means that I don't have access to port forwarding, which means you have to have Hamachi to play. Which, I, it sounds like it's a lot of work, but it's really not. It's really simple, because as soon as you download Hamachi, you log on to the network, you pretty much don't have to worry about Hamachi ever again. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you out. Let me know in the description what you think, and also... Uh, private message me if you would like to join a server. Alright, thanks guys.